Hey guys, make sure to stand to the end. If you make one common mistake, you may spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on repairs, parts, diagnostics that you don't need. Make sure to stand to the end. We will explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Silverado. This generation right here from year 2007 to year 2013. If you guys have one of those, if you need to find where the left headlight high beam fuse is located, which fuse you need to check, you have another fuse for the left headlight low beam. Stay with us, we'll explain where you can find the high beam left headlight fuse, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important guys to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stand till the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, that generation, that's the second generation from year 2006 to year 2013, we'll be making a video about every single fuse relay. Why? Because if you're in the middle of nowhere, you're down the road, you need to find a fuse for fuel pump, ignition, immobilizer, parktronic, anything like that. All we have to do, watch that video, spend less than a minute or two, find it, fix your problem, you're back on the road. Because most people will lose their manuals or it will not be clearly specified in the manuals. Some fuses have multiple functions. So we'll be having more than probably 150 to 200 free repair videos on that. We guys make video constantly here at the garage. We take things apart, engines, transmissions, bodywork, a little bit of everything. And we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs please check it out in addition guys if you need to buy any parts tools special fuses anything like that at a really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we'll share the links in the description of the video below so let's start on it now so now the left headlight high beam fuse where you can expect to find it we'll demonstrate on that generation chevy silverado guys right here we have three different fuse boxes in that truck and today we work in one that's located right under the hood. Pop guys the hood open facing the engine on the right side right here under this cover you'll find the main engine fuse box. Once you open that cover you'll find that layout right here. Now before we continue guys let's quickly explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is guys very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it and you assume guys that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen guys at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. Left here light high beam fuse, where you can expect to find it if you look at the fuse box, that side is toward the front of your Chevy Silverado, this is windshield side, passenger side, driver side, if we zoom in a little bit guys, okay the fuse that we're looking at is known as fuse number, specifically guys, fuse number 32. So you wonder where that fuse is located, it's right here, that 10M fuse guys, okay that you see right here. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Hopefully the video guys was helpful and see you next time.